Alright, welcome everyone to a new game called Prison Simulator. This is a game where we'll be playing as a newly hired correctional officer handling the prisoners. So, we'll be breaking up fights, making sure they're all staying in line and all that good stuff. It's a super detailed and in-depth game. It's something I've been really wanting to play, so I'm really looking forward to getting into it and getting started. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this new series, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Alright, I guess we're going to start off with naming our prison, which I didn't know was a part of this, so that's kind of sick. I don't know what to name it though, so I, <laughs> what, what should I name it? Should be something stupid? Preston's Slaves. Preston Slaves. <laughs> That's messed up, but that's what we're going to go with, so. Alright, cool. Welcome to Prisoner Creator. Here you can choose the appearance of your convicts. Wow, that's kind of sick. On the right there are options to customize your prisoners, first and last name, and change their voice configuration. Also on the right, you can customize the prisoner's body, face, and skin tones. And when your prisoner is ready, press confirm. If you don't want to choose how your prisoners look, press random and confirm. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Perfect. That's kind of sick. We can customize our own prisoners. That's kind of cool. There's 16 slots. I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to customize all of them. I may customize two or three. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see. Um, oh, we're going to give him all the tattoos, man. Look at him. He's, he's, he thinks he's a gangster. <laughs> Let's see, do we have any other ones that maybe have tattoos or anything? I think that's the only one that has a lot, so we're going to go with that. And then we can choose his name and his voice. <laughs> oh my god, the laugh. <laughs> the laugh is amazing. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. We'll call him PP Le Pew. <laughs> I think that's fitting. <laughs> And then we can create a story for him. What does this one say? He works as a financial advisor, as a hobby. He likes to play video games. He wants to, or he was sent to prison for pickpocketing. He was sentenced to death penalty with an undefined date. He is a widower with two children. He believes the current president is reptilian. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. So we're going to add him there. Um, not locked. Uh, let's see, how do I, how do I lock that? I guess we'll lock that in. There we go, cool. So now, whenever I randomize the rest, we'll keep PP Le Pew. <laughs> okay, let me, I'm going to randomize, or not randomize, I'm going to create two other ones. I'll show you guys after I'm done, and then I'm going to randomize the rest. So let's create a couple more. Okie dokie, so we've made us a few other, uh, prisoners and i'll say this one of them i love very much i really love them and i've randomized all the rest of them so um obviously we've got pippi le pew we've got billy idiot i just lost creativity in his name there's billy idiot <laughs> and this one my favorite hugh jass <laughs> if you put it together it sounds like hugh jass <laughs> i'm sorry i'm i'm so unoriginal okay Listen to this fat ass. Look, he's fat. He's he's aggressive. His crime is running naked in a public place. He worked as an interior designer. As a hobby, he likes to play mobile games. Police officers caught him and arrested him for running naked in a public place. He was sentenced to death penalty with an undefined date. That is unbelievable. How do you get the death penalty from running naked in a public place? Nowadays, it seems like that's just like normal. People are just weird. Oh my lord. Anyway, that's all of them. I've randomized the rest. I made three, so I thought it was funny. So, let's click finish. In the gang creator, you can choose who joins one of the three gangs. Oh, I get to create gangs? I get to choose a symbol of each gang on the icon, and I can choose the name. That's kind of sick. Awesome. Awesome. Let's do it. So, I named them the Ghetto Bulldogs. I kept this one, we called them the mob, and I've kept the bird looking thing, and I'll call them the little pricks. <laughs> so, that's what we're going to go with. The little pricks is going to be housed by Pee Pee Le Pew. Uh, let's see, we're going to have, uh, we're not going to put Billy in there. Let's put huge ass in there. Okay, we'll go with this. And I don't think we can put everybody in a gang. I think it can only be five apiece, and we've got 16. So there's going to be one guy that's just not in a gang. He's going to be kind of left out. Maybe I should make Billy the one that's left out. Let's do that. Whoops, not, not change the name. Let's leave Billy out. Let's put this guy in. So Billy, he's an idiot, obviously, in the name. you know. So he's not going to be in a gang. He's going to be the oddball out. And we'll go with that. 
Let's finish that, and I guess we're going to load in. This is <laughs> this has been super in depth. I haven't even gotten into the game yet. I love it though. I really do. I'm really excited to get into this. It's supposed to be super super in depth and thorough. As you guys know, I play Police Simulator. I've always wanted Police Simulator to be really in depth with the jail, and it's not. But it's a police sim. It's not a correctional officer sim. So this I'm looking forward to. This is going to be really fun. Alright, welcome to prison, a simulator to follow updates or report bugs, blah blah blah, don't really worry about the discord. Main task is to carry out the routine assigned to you for the day. Check their list in the journal, blah 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 blah. Most of your actions are evaluated by other guards and prisoners, which affects your level of respect. Okay, so I guess you can have more respect with prisoners, but not so much the officers and vice versa, which that's kind of interesting. That's kind of cool. Okay, cool. So we've got 40% uh, prison guard respect and 40% prisoner respect. We've only got $10 to our name. Our introduction is to talk to the guard, so let's go uh, have a chat with this guy. Demento, Hello, you must be the new correctional officer, right? That is me, sir. That is me. I'm Richard. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Me too. So, do you have any questions before we go to the warden? He wants to talk to you before your shift. Uh, no? Not really. I mean, uh, can you tell me something about the prison? Maybe some advice for the rookie? Let's walk you talk for. I mean, I kind of feel like that's obvious. Uh, well, let's, he's got any, let's see if he's got any advice for us. Hmm, well, I think most things you're going to learn from the warden. Okay, so you got nothing to tell me. <laughs> but I can tell you about respect, okay? You can gain respect from both sides, prisoners and officers, depending on your actions. If you do your job properly, like maintain order, securing contraband, and helping others, the officers will be pleased. Prisoners, not so much. And if you don't want to have quarrel with inmates, uh, sometimes it's good to turn a blind eye to their actions. They'll appreciate it. Or at least try not to beat them every single time. <laughs> Okay, why is this guy telling me this? Like, you know, hey, you could, you know, turn a blind eye to some things. You shouldn't want to tell a rookie that, but I get it. It's the beginning of the game. It's trying to tell me how to play the game, but that's just, why would they have an officer tell me that? That's funny. So you're literally telling me to let them do bad things. Yeah, exactly! Shh, that's not, <laughs> not that loud. I said sometimes, and only the small things, and of course, try not to get caught by other officers or he'll be displeased. This guy, man. Okay, but what can that respect gain me? A peaceful job? And if someone likes you more, he can be more friendly towards you. And who knows, maybe he'll save your ass in a moment of need, or he'll be the source of your nightmares if you get under his skin too much. Okay, and what if none of the prisoners... Um, or none of the officers respect me. If that really happens, then in the prisoner's case, most likely there'll be another riot. In the officer's case, well, you'll probably lose your job or the warden will cut your salary. Oh my gosh. So my advice, try to keep it balanced or gain a lot of respect on both sides. Um, but that's impossible, I think. Anyway, any more questions? No, no, you've just confused me. Have a good day. Okay, then, now let's go get to the warden. Alright, let's do it. One more thing, if you ever feel lost, use your map. It's under the... Okay, cool. Or whichever, I hope. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let me follow you. I'm done talking to you, dude. Whatever your name was, Richard. Captain, Chief, whatever your name is. How you doing? Oh, you must be the new guy. I'm Kenneth, your new warden. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. How are you feeling? Nervous, huh? Uh, well, I wasn't until I talked to Richard. <laughs> Richard, uh, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. You, I'll let Richard, you know, kind of fend for himself. Oh, come on, I'm glad to hear that. Confidence is really important here. 
And don't bother with formality. You can call me Mr. Warden. <laughs> okay, that's kind of formal. Is your last name Warden? That's kind of odd. Okay, now let's get back to business. Here's your duties for today. You can check them in your journal. Um, it was the triangle button. Cool. Uh, you can recall blah blah blah. Okay, I'll mark it on your map where you should go first. And after each routine, you have free time so you can rest a bit or check out the facility or just relax. Um, we have a nice social room with coffee and stuff. Cool. When you get done with your duties, go to the briefing room to report your day. And I think that's all. Any questions? I don't have any questions. I'm good. Great. Now you can go. Good luck. Fantastic. All right. Man, this this is kind of sick. Let's see, that's the crouch. What do I what do I click to run? Ah, there we go. Now I can run around like a freak. <laughs> Uh, vending machine. Oh, I can use the vending machine. Ooh, I can buy snacks. That might be good if I maybe lose health, potentially. There's, like, cigarettes in here, too. Who puts cigarettes in a jail vending machine? That's kind of weird. Okay, routine. Attendance check. Your first task is to check the attendance. Go to the duty office, which is to the left of the entrance, and use the lever to open the cells. Okay. Clicker. Choose the clicker and get each prisoner and count them with it. Okay, cool. And then when a prisoner does not get into the assembly, speak to him and find out why he is not cooperating. React when prisoners are not behaving. Holy crap, we gotta break up fights? Awesome. Okay. Well. Alright, guys. Everyone get outside here. Alright, we got one. Cool. You're good. Can I, can I dismiss you? If the prisoner does not stick to the rules, he should be punished. Uh, but first, you need to pacify him with a nightstick or a taser. <laughs> In some cases, a talk is enough, but not usually. Okay, uh, select a walkie-talkie and go to the aggressive person. Use the walkie-talkie and choose one of the available punishments. The prisoner will get a penalty marker over his head. This prisoner can't be punished anymore today. Okay. Uh, well, I already did my clicker. I'm not talking to you. Okay, well, get into your cell. Go search him. Maybe I'll search him. Got a hammer. It's illegal. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take that. What are you doing here? Are you helping this convict? The top won't like that. Uh, what are you talking about? Nope, 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 nope. nope. Night stick. Night stick. Next. Uh, okay, let me let me night stick his ass. Oh my god, we got a riot. We got a riot. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. What in the fuck are we doing? What the fuck? Yeah, get back in line, you pricks. What the heck, man? I just took this guy's thing. And you had a problem with it. You had a problem with it. Okay, the prisoners don't like me. The guards should. I literally just got done searching this guy. Okay. Okay, okay. I guess he's good. I guess he's good. I'm trying to figure out the damn controls. Oh, okay. I guess that's what happens. There you go, Billy. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get my clicker back out here. Got him. All right, huge ass. Let's see what you got. Let's let's use my clicker here. Go ahead and count you. That's here. Go ahead and search, Mr. Huge Ass. See what he has on him. Looks like he's good. All right. I'm just gonna go around and I've searched a few. Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you at roll call? You didn't say anything. Well, yeah. What? Say some shit. What, what, what's the matter? I did nothing. Are you ease on drugs? I feel great, just great. Yeah, okay. Okay, bud. Your pupils are so freaking big, dude. Now I can see you better? Really? Better stay in your cell, but if you screw something up, uh... Nah, if you say so, let's join the others. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Yep, everything's good. Got William, got Thomas, he's good as well. Man, we're gonna search him too, just make sure there's nothing on Mr. 
guy right here. All right, cool. And done. All right, everyone's here. I already know about all this. Let's go ahead and shut that. Put everyone in their cell. Beautiful. All right, so we got some free time, so we can go lift some weights. Practice our shooting. That shooting might be beneficial. All right, well, let's just run through. Oh, oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, this is solitary confinement, I think. Okay. All righty. Well, let's just run through all these doors here. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go lift some weights. I want to lift some weights. All right, we got some prisoners out here. Holy crap. These dudes look ripped. Uh, how about we, you just, you guys just stick to you. How about you guys just stick to yourself, huh? How about you guys just stick to yourself? Uh, let's talk to this guy. What do you want? I don't know. What do you want, man? I just want to talk. Just trying to be nice. I don't talk with screws. Okay. All right, fine. All right. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it when they're just like standing behind me and shit and just walking around. They could just attack me randomly. My ass is itchy. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing that, man. Let's use this thing. Okay, so we use L1 and R1, and that's how you do a rep. Okay, cool. Let's build up our strength here, because it seems like we're going to need it. Come on. There we go. That was one rep. Two. Three. Everybody just keeps walking by and just staring at me doing reps on this thing. This really isn't smart for an officer to do, but I'm doing it anyway, man. Building up my stamina. Makes us look tough in front of everybody. So, oh, see? 20 stamina. See? I was complaining about my stamina earlier, and I'm sitting here racking it up. Alright. That's what we like to see. Everyone's out here doing reps. Sweet. Okay, go to the search. Okay. Alright, well, let's go go back in here. The parcel searching room. Alright, what's in here? Ah, okay, so package searching. Okay. That's kind of sick. I sit here, put it down, and then we'll search it over here. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Open, 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 open. All right. Okay, nothing in here. Close it. Okay. That's good. Let's look at the bottle here. I don't know what this is. Open this up. We just got some candies in here. Alright, I guess we're good there. What is this? Pills? What kind of pills we got in here? Okay, I guess it's just regular, like, maybe heart pills or something. Okay. What we got here? Shampoo. Okay. Got anything, got anything in here? Got anything illegal in here? Anything illegal? No? Okay, I think that might be deodorant, actually. I think that's only for men. I think this might actually be deodorant. Yeah, that's deodorant. The other was shampoo. Okay, well, that's good. Then we got this book over here. Anything in here? Anything sticking out of the pages here? Alright, this one's good. Okay, uh, checked. Okay, here we go. Alright, so now we gotta just check all three of them. I'm starting to get a rhythm here. It's always a learning routine the first episode, so you gotta, you guys gotta bear with me while I'm learning all this stuff. Okay, ah, ah, we got a knife. Got a knife. Okay, so I can hit circle to leave. I can hit square to take. Or triangle to secure. That's what I did wrong last time. That's why that officer looked at me weird, because I just took it and kept it. I need to secure it. So let's hit triangle. Did, that, did I do it? Okay, I did. Cool. Oh, what is this? Is it a hairpin or something? A needle? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, let's secure that. Like, I, I want to have good reputation with both of them, but... It's like... You know, you want your job to be easy, but you don't want to lose your job. Like, they're in here for a reason. I'm not here to make their life easy. They they put themselves in here. So, you guys let me know what you think. Should I, should I be more lenient? Should I, you know, be more respectful to the guards or more respectful to the prisoners? You guys, I'll let you guys shape my, my playthrough here. If you guys think I should be more aimed towards the prisoners, let me know. Or more aimed towards the guards. Or maybe kind of in the middle, you know. I'll let you guys 
let me know. So that's the end of our first day, which has been a little rough just because I've been trying to get used to all the controls and stuff. Go through here and briefing room. Perfect. Ready for your daily report. Yes, I am. It's over. All right, first day done. Awesome, we've got $30 in total. We're just making bank here, guys. Uh, we got plus seven guard respect. 20% of a riot risk, which is not good. Prisoners searched. Beaten prisoners, oh my gosh. Routines done. Contraband taken. So I took contraband. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, workshop, go get to the prisoners from the cell block. Okay. And here crouching again. I'm so used to clicking the left joystick to run. <laughs> <laughs> and on this, uh, for the PlayStation, it's circle to run, so it's just throwing me off a little bit. It'll we'll take some time to get used to. Alright. Go to the workshop, select some prisoners using the clicker first. They will be ready for assembly. Okay. I guess that's how that works. We'll take uh, PP. The indicated maximum amount of people to work. Um, Chief, follow me. Okay, command. Gotcha. Alright, so we got him. Uh, let's take Billy. We'll take Billy. Oh, you going? Six and a half hours later. Okay, we're not taking Billy. <laughs> Billy has lost his his uh, privileges. I just realized their name is on the on the cell that they're in. I didn't notice that till now. So that is a lot easier for me to figure out. So we got huge ass over here. Let's take huge ass. We got huge ass, we got Pepe. Uh, let's see, let's just take a few random guys. We'll take this guy. We'll take this guy. I think we need one more here. Uh, let's just take Bob over here. We'll take Bob. Dude, get off the toilet, come on. Let's go ahead and give them a command to follow me. Awesome. Now they'll follow me. We're gonna take them all the way to the workshop now. And they better stay single file, and y'all better behave, because if y'all don't behave, it's not going to be good. Alright, y'all line up. Routine workshop. Now go to the locker on the right of the entrance, take out your chosen tool, and go to each of the convicts to give them a tool to work with. Uh, make sure everyone works. If someone is loafing around, reprimand him or use a direct force. Okay. Prisoners have to work for a determined time, but if they work longer, the prison will earn more money. Aha! Uh -huh, okay. Very good. That's that's what we like to see, which means more money in my pocket. So that 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 is good. Okay, so let's go in here. Oh lord, I don't think they need any of these. Okay, here we go. Gosh, that took way too long. <laughs> it took way too long trying to figure that out. Okay, we'll give him the hammer. That's true. All right, we gave him the hamper. Uh, let's see, huge ass. He's kind of aggressive. Let's talk to him. And let's see, we don't need to give him a knife. We can give him, we can give him a file. All right, I think that would be best for him. This guy's aggressive too. God, I choose all the aggressive ones. Let's give this guy, give him the knife. Gosh, I still don't want to give these guys a wrench or a screwdriver, but okay. Okay. All right, everyone's working. Watch the prisoners while they work. Okay, this guy's a carpenter in here working on his stuff. Kind of got to go to each room to check on them, though. I'm really just walking around, just checking on them. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't scare me like that. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're up to something. What are you doing over here, dude? Uh, can I, like, do something about that? Hold on. Search him real quick. I don't know what he's doing. Legal. Okay. Yeah, you watch yourself, man. Hey, okay, seems like he's all right. Hey, what are you doing? Oh my God! When a fire starts, you have to react as fast as possible. Find the nearest extinguisher and pick it up with X. 
Getting fire with R2. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, get up. Get, get, pick up. Who the fuck did this? I think I know who did it, freaking Pee Pee Le Pew. You guys are working overtime now. Seriously? Seriously? Nah, 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 nah. Search you. Wire. Yeah, let's secure that. I should knock the shit out of you. There you go. Punished, bitch. Don't be doing that shit. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, you need to start doing something. Because you're just standing there. Nothing, okay. What are you doing in here? Okay, you're doing your job. He's not doing anything. Dude. Motherfucker, you need to... Do something. Oh my god. Do something, dude. Do your job. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. This is what I like to see. Working tushies. Making me money. This is Preston Slaves Incorporated. This is not the prison you signed up for, okay? Okay, here we go. Rally. Alright. Get them all in here. Take the tools back. Yes, I almost forgot about that. Wait for them all to come in here. Make sure we have all of them. We're not missing anything. Where is my tool I gave you? I have a feeling someone's going to be missing a tool. Yes, give me the tool back. Give it back. Thank you. Give me the tool. Thank you, sir. Search this guy. Awesome. Alright, everybody's tools have been taken from him. I can put them all back. After taking back all the tools, go to each prisoner and search them. Oh, I just did that. At the bottom of the screen, you can sometimes see icons. That means you are being watched by a prisoner or by a guard. The number next to the icon tells how many prisoners and or guards are watching you. When you keep contraband for yourself, when you're being watched by a guard, it will end in an unpleasant talk. Same goes for a prisoner, especially when you take away contraband. Okay. So, I should have waited to search them. <laughs> until after. The officer's turned around. Let's search this guy. Legal, he's got nails. Secure it. We're gonna secure that. I need some good respect with my backup here. Why do I hear people walking around? Okay, I hear a, I see a bunch of people. Let's search this guy. The officer's turned around, so if I find something illegal, pieces of wood, I'm gonna leave it. Got some respect from the prisoners. That's good. Search this guy. Nails, okay. Yeah. Man, I... Uh, okay, I'll pretend I saw nothing. No way, I'm confiscating it. End of story. I don't know how much you given. Uh, can I take a bribe? Ten bucks? I could get up to thirty bucks. Dude. Uh, let's just pretend I saw nothing. See if I gain some respect. Okay, they didn't really gain me any respect. Thankfully this officer's not even paying me no attention. Being the rookie and all. Uh... Secure it. Search this guy. And we'll secure it. Alright, alright. Well, it, it didn't really change anything. We still had a 40 and a 50 for the prison guards. Alright, well that probably would have been a good idea to just ke let them keep all of their weapons while this officer wasn't looking. That would have been a really good idea. I should have done that. Okay, so we gotta take them all to their cell, so let's have them follow me. Learning a lot. Learning a lot. Um, but definitely you guys let me know if you want me to 
focus more on the prison guards and the respect there or the prisoners themselves. But I'm not sure if I can level all of them up though. I'm not sure if I can do that. We'll definitely give it a shot. That's complete. Okay, perfect. Alright, go to your cells. Got some free time here. Let's go to the shooting range. We haven't seen the shooting range yet. Open. Open. Aha! Welcome to the shooting range. Here you can relax by training your aim. Go to the selected stand to start. Every stand has a different game mode. Alright. Bam. 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 Did I do it? Did I do it? 39 seconds, new record, 49 points, accuracy 86%. That's what we like to see. What we like to see. Alright, where are we going? Release prisoners. Go to the search room. Okay. We actually get to call for prisoners over the loudspeaker. Also, are we letting prisoners go? How about that? Are we bringing them in? Take that. Oh. Search the prisoner. Okay. Check the prisoner's documents and stamp them accordingly. Pick up. Okay, let's just do this one at a time. First one. Check compliance of fingerprints with control sheet fingerprints. We got fingerprints here. And I'm guessing just make sure that they match. I guess. Okay. Um, check the correctness of the name data on the fingerprint sheet. So the ID card is uh, John Close. His name is John Close. Date of birth is uh, 73. I think everything looks good. Check the ID card is correct on fingerprint sheet. Okay, I think everything is good. Okay, well, uh, I think you're good, man. Congratulations. Get out of here. Enjoy the, enjoy the world. We'll see you back in a few days. <laughs> oh, did I give him his box back? I just took his box. I just completely just robbed him of his stuff. Alright. Day two is over with. All done. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm done. Very good. We got some more cash on us. Gained some respect on both the guard and the prison side. Still got a 20% risk of a riot, which is low, but, you know, still higher than I would like it to be. Awesome. All right. Well, I think we've done pretty good for this episode. We've gotten a couple days under our belt. We're having somewhat of an idea of what we're supposed to do. So day three, we'll probably do in the next episode. Very good. All right. So we'll go and start day three in the next episode and go talk to the guard. We'll pick up in the next episode there. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. There is going to be a lot more stuff to do than what we've done in this episode. A lot more stuff. I'm sure at some point we'll have a riot. We'll probably have to, you know, have some type of relationships with the prisoners, try to build our rep up in both. But definitely let me know if you guys want me to focus more on the prison guards or the prisoners. Um, and we'll go with what you guys uh, decide. So let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit the like button if you guys did enjoy. Hit the subscribe button for future episodes. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.